Hello and thanks for watching this Cloud9 ERP Solutions video and subscribing to our YouTube channel. In this series of videos of Acumatica 2022 R2, we're going to talk about purchase order side panels. So with Acumatica, the framework itself allows you to create your own side panels. You edit this generic inquiry, come over here and hit edit. You can go in and add as many side panel tabs as you want. If you're looking at a form, an existing form, such as a purchase order, it's a couple of additional steps. You use a customization panel to do it. And both of these options, you can take a look at our videos on how to do that. Search for side panels in our YouTube channel. But in this video, we're going to talk about how Acumatica is delivering these side panel tabs out of the box. So if we take a look at this purchase order. Here's a list of purchase orders. They're all closed. But on the right hand side, you can see our side panel. And if we click on purchase orders, this gives us a form view of the purchase order that we have selected. Make this a little bit bigger here. And as we cycle through the different records, you can see the different purchase orders. And Acumatica allows you to make changes. Of course, these are closed, so we can't make changes to it. If we click here and clear all and maybe put on hold purchase orders, we have one. And now you can make changes to it, add items and all sorts of things right from this view without opening up the purchase order. But additionally, we can also see a vendor's profile. So here's the profile of a vendor. You can see all the different tabs for this vendor. You can get access to it, make changes if you have rights. Purchase order details by vendor. So this is a report. This is a form report that shows for that vendor, here's all the purchase order details. And what's strange about this, of course, we're still in beta during this video. What's strange about this is we're not getting any records. But what this report is, we go to purchases, the purchase work area. It's this report right here, purchase order details by vendor. So if you run it, and again, there seems to be a problem with this report which is why it's not returning any results. We'll have this reported and it'll be fixed before Acumatica releases. But if we go back to purchase orders and we continue the other side panel tabs, you can also see a printed form. So maybe we wanna take a look at the purchase order form, what it's gonna look like when we print it. You can see all that here. This is purchase order status. So what this is is a dashboard view where we passed along the vendor. So purchase order status dashboard, but we passed along Westerly Good Foods and we can see orders to receive, late orders, receipts to process, returns to vendor. You can also see all your open, completed and closed purchase orders here and anything that's on hold. So if we were to select another vendor, maybe something that's on hold or open, and lastly, we can see our payables right here. So what we're looking at here is a payables dashboard where we passed along this particular vendor. We could see its balance, its overdue balance, which is the same, any bills and adjustments to approve, if they're pending approval, overdue bills and adjustments. You can see here different bills adjustments history. You can see a list here. And notice the plus button. This gives us the ability to add a bill on the fly if we wanted to do that. It's not very practical from a purchase order list, but you can do it if you have the rights. If there's any prepayment request to approve, any prepayment request to pay, payments to approve and prepaid amounts, as well as any payment history, again, specific to this vendor. As you highlight through your different purchase orders, you can see different things. If we open up, open up a on hold purchase order, there's only one in my demo data. Acumatica's also added a side panel with a bunch of tabs for the purchase order form screen. So if we click on preferred vendor items, 
we can see that this vendor, these are the items we normally get from this vendor. So as we're creating a purchase order, this information can be useful because we can maybe think about some of the other items that aren't on here yet, but that maybe we want to get. Maybe this mixer, for example. Additionally, we also have access to the vendor details screen. So similar to the customer details screen, this is a vendor details screen which shows any open bills. So bills that don't have any open bills or payments. So bills or payments that don't have a zero balance. So for example, if we scroll over to the right, you can see this bill is 340,000 plus and it's got a balance of the same. That's why we're seeing it here. Now if we click on show all documents, we can see all the history. So you can see your checks and bills and anything that has a zero balance as well. That's why we're seeing all that. Lastly, you can check on include unreleased documents. And if there's anything that hasn't been released, maybe it's on hold, maybe it's just balanced, you'll see it here as well. So that's purchase order side panels. We saw it in the form as well as the purchase order listing view. If you have any questions about this or anything else Acumatica, feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks again for watching this video and subscribing to our YouTube channel. Click on like if you like the video as well. And have a great day. Thank you.